video today and hey guys what's up we are back with another video today and today we are doing our kansas football prediction 2023 make sure you hit that subscribe button down below help me reach my goal of 1100 subscribers before the end of march or i'm sorry july also like this video if you enjoy it comment all your thoughts and opinions down below uh let me know what you think kansas will do in this upcoming season of a lot of adventure for kansas football uh you have lance lee pulp in his third year uh after a very successful second year at the program a six and seven finish a first time that they had a bull appearance in 14 years so a lot riding on this upcoming season with a new or with the same quarterback coming back uh, like there's just a lot riding on this season in my opinion so let's get started into today's video uh one more thing before we do get started though make sure you check out the website and the patreon page links are in the description for both so now let's make our way over to the schedule so Kansas starts the year off against Missouri State. Missouri State is not an elite level um, FCS program. They're solid. They're not terrible, but it should be a pretty easy win here. Um, this is a Missouri State team that did uh, does bring back some pieces. I'm a Missouri Valley fan, uh, particularly. It's a conference with North Dakota State, South Dakota State, Illinois State, Northern Iowa, Missouri. Missouri State, stuff like that. South Dakota, you played a couple of teams earlier. Uh, so I do follow this conference a little bit. Um, so Missouri State, you shouldn't have too many issues with. They're not like – if you played North Dakota State, this is a game that I would very much consider to possibly be a loss. Or if you played South Dakota State, uh, the reigning national champions, I would also probably consider this game a loss. Then you have Illinois, 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 Illinois. Um, a lot of people are down on Illinois, and this is a very 50-50 game for me personally. Um, I think that this is a game in which on one end you have a much more experienced offense with Jalen Daniels uh, or Jalen Daniels uh, and Devin Neal and stuff like that. You have that on one end, and then on the other end, you have a much more experienced defense um, with Illinois and in a pretty experienced and talented offensive line. So Illinois really does better in the trenches compared to um, – Kansas doing much better at the skill positions, particularly. So it does make for a very interesting kind of dynamic. Um, but when you're looking at this as a whole, um, I think when it comes down to it, it is going to be a loss. I think that Illinois uh, is just a little bit better of a team. Uh, I know this game is at Kansas, and it really, for me, went back and forth um, on who I thought was going to win. But I think when it comes down to it, um, I think that Kansas, they just have a lot of work to do. Um, last year was a little bit of a disappointment at the end of the year with losses, uh, with the only one win at the end of the year and six out of seven or, or seven out of eight games ending in losses. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about that. Uh, so I'm going to make this game an L for Kansas. <laughs> But then you have a road game, your first one of the season. This is a game in Nevada. Uh, you're going to have an easy W here. Uh, Nevada went 2-10 and 10 last year, second year under Ken Wilson, the new head coach, after Jay Norvell left for Colorado State. Um, this is just simply a game in which Nevada is – they're, they're a bad football team. Um, they had two wins last year against New Mexico State and against Texas State. They even lost to their FCS opponent in Incarnate Word. Um, so you really just – this is not a Nevada team uh, that Jay Norvell had with Carson Strong and with all those other uh, talented players that he had during his um, reign as head coach. So it definitely has a lot of work to do. Uh, when it comes down to it. So heading on to the next game, you got BYU. You got the Cougars. Uh, this is one of the new teams to the Big 12. One of four, uh, you have three of them on your schedule. You do not get uh, Houston, but you do get the rest of the teams. Uh, BYU, I think that this is going to be an interesting game. Um, BYU brings back some pieces. They don't bring back Jaron Hall. Um, but I do think at the end of the day, this is a win, 
partly because, like I said, they don't bring back Jaron Hall. You do bring back Jalen Daniels. And I think uh, that reason and it being a home game, I think this is a win here. Then you have a game at Texas. This game I went back and forth on as well, uh, not because Texas is a um, – Texas is a much more talented team than Kansas. There's no doubt about that. And even if you want to um, look at it from that perspective, it is a team in which they have they like Texas. They have they've played Alabama already. This team could be riding high, and Kansas could upset them. There's no doubt about that. Um, I think that this is going to be an interesting matchup. I think it is going to be an incredibly high-scoring matchup, just like the one, uh, the Texas matchup in 2021, uh, and even the Texas matchup last year. Even though it did not go the way of Kansas after getting um, upsetting Texas the year prior, I think I think that this is a year that Kansas makes it a little bit more competitive. I don't think that they win it, but I do think that it is a competitive game for them. Then you have a home game against UCF. This is another one of the new um, new cats in the building. Um, well, I guess this one's a knight, uh, not a cat. Um, but at the end of the day, I do think that this is a loss. I think that uh, UCF, this is going to be a game uh, where UCF is just able to uh, defensively. I do think that they have a couple more pieces. I think Kansas, they have a lot of, a, they have a lot of good athletes. They, Kenny uh, Logan is a great athlete uh, along with guys like Rich Miller and Craig Young. I do think that some of these players, they're really good athletes. The problem that I half with the Kansas de- excuse me the defense particularly um is that they don't tend they're not very they're very physical and they're very all in and sometimes they'll let big plays pass them and I think that's one thing that they really got to work on is they have a lot of big plays that get past them uh so I do think that that is a loss there for the Jayhawks then you have a road game a very tough road game in Stillwater uh, but I do think that you win this one. Oklahoma State lost a lot of pieces uh, in this season or the prior off season, and because of that, um, it is definitely something where, well, it, even though I think that um, Mike Gundy is a great head coach, he's going to have his work cut out for him this year. Uh, he has a new quarterback, uh, a new running back, I believe, and a lot of new pieces on defense, included and on the offensive line too. So a lot of work to be done. Uh, so I do think that you get a win here, a little bit of an upset win in Stillwater. Then you have your biggest matchup of the year, in my opinion. I think that this game – a home game against Oklahoma. I think maybe if you do get one more win up here at the top, um, half of the schedule, either against Illinois or UCF or Texas, there's a possibility you're ranked uh, coming into this game. If you can get uh, to where you are five and two, I think that's what it would be. Yeah, five and two um, rather than four and three. I think you could be ranked going into this matchup. And Oklahoma, I'm going to guess that they may be ranked. Um, it kind of depends. I haven't yet. I, it depends kind of where they're at in scenario. Uh, but I think that it is definitely a game and a big matchup for them because I think Oklahoma, last year it was a close matchup. You almost beat Oklahoma. It was a 10-point game. Uh, and it was one of the games that I think kind of defined your season. Yeah, you had the TCU game in which you lost to the eventual uh, national runner-up. Uh, and obviously that was impressive. But I think at the same time, if you beat Oklahoma, you maybe would have been able uh, to reclaim your season and maybe get a winning season. But unfortunately, that did not end up happening for you Jayhawk fans. But when it comes down to it, I do think that this is a win. I think it is a redemption game uh, for Kansas. Uh, a couple of years ago, you almost beat number three Oklahoma with Caleb Williams. Obviously, that would have been massive uh, for Lance Leopold, uh, but it was just not to be. But it was a close game. It really was, and it was a fascinating game. So I do think that it is a game in which um, this is one of the games that I think Lance starts to – turn the engines and really start to move this team towards more of that upper echelon of the big 12. 
Then you have a road game against Iowa State. And I think you get another win here. I think you make it three straight uh, before you really get into a tough stretch of game. A uh, couple of games against Texas Tech and Kansas State. Um, I do think that this Iowa State team, Matt Campbell, had a bad year last year. Uh, you have a lot to work on. And I think Jalen Daniels is just a little bit too talented. And I really do. I haven't really talked about him enough. But I think that with you, when you're talking about Jalen Daniels, he is just one of the best quarterbacks in this um, conference. I think that he may... He may be the second best quarterback in this conference. I'm trying to think of who else is in this conference that would compete with him. Will Howard from Kansas State. I'm sure you don't want to hear that. Uh, maybe Dylan Gabriel or Quinn Ewers. Um, but to, to be honest, I think at the end of the year, it's probably going to be Quinn Ewers. But right now, if I take a quarterback, it'd probably be Dalen, Jalen Daniels, as long as he can stay healthy. Then you have a road game or a home game against Texas Tech. Uh, I do think that this is a loss. I think that this is kind of where the rubber meets the road. Uh, it is a tough game. Um, I think that this is a team that is heading – both teams are heading into the right direction. Last year, uh, Kansas lost 28-43 to uh, in a very tough matchup. Uh, not one that was particularly close, but I think Joey McGuire has this team heading in the right direction, and I just trust – Texas Tech a little bit more, uh, even though I really do like Kansas. Then you have a home game against Kansas State. This is maybe a bigger matchup than Oklahoma, um, but I, I will argue that Oklahoma is the bigger matchup. Um, Kansas State, obviously your arch rival. Um, Kansas has only won four out of the last um, – 30 matchups, uh, but Kansas does lead the series 65 to 50 uh, with five ties also. Um, this is a big matchup and a rivalry that I think is starting to heat up in college football that I am very excited about. Uh, but when it comes down to it, I do think that once again, the Wildcats win this matchup. Will Howard and crew, I think, is just a little bit too dominant. And I think that Kansas State still holds the edge in this matchup. Though next year, maybe the year for Kansas. Maybe. Maybe it will be this year. Maybe it will be next year. Maybe it will be in a couple of years. Then you have Cincinnati, a road game against Bearcats. This is a win. Cincinnati is probably one of the worst teams, if not the worst team, in the Big 12 this upcoming season, and definitely, in my opinion, the um, team in the second worst position going forward. I think Houston has a little bit of issues in the next year or two, um, but I think there's a lot of potential for this team um, and, and Cincinnati, but I think Houston, they're in a better market and a better place, uh, so we'll see. So that's going to wrap up today's video. Please, Kansas fans, help me out. Hit that subscribe button down below. We will be doing some Kansas streams this year if you guys continue up with your success. Otherwise, hit the two videos down below. One will be a podcast playlist of all of my college football predictions. And hit the subscribe button up here. And as always, have a great day. Bye, guys.